a 10 microfarad capacitor okay so we have here um this is the okay wait uh so we have a 10 microfarad capacitor uh, 2 henry inductor 20 ohm resistor in series okay you have three components here okay so this is the uh, capacitance okay this is the capacitance sorry yeah this is the capacitance uh, this is the inductance this is the resistance so this is a uh, uh, rcl circuit yeah rcl circuit uh, and then um, it's given by uh, in series with a source uh, a source uh, so this is a source voltage equation okay and uh, this one is uh, this is the v not source okay this is the v not source uh, this is the this is the v source v source equal to v not source and this is the omega okay this is the omega t sign on it's a sign graph yeah oh, omega t now the question asks for uh, frequency capacitive reactance inductive reactance okay impedance okay so this is the he asked for the frequency, he asked for the capacitive reactance, capacitive inductance, XC, XL, impedance means the Z, yeah, he asked for the Z, and then also he asked for the maximum current, so this is the peak current, I0, he asked for the I0, okay, I0, and then the phase angle, the mean power of the circuit, so this is the... Uh, phi, he asked for the phi, and this is the mean power. Okay, mean power or mean power also known as the average power. Okay, so the information given the RCL, this is the RCL circuit. So, uh, capacitor microfarad changed to negative 6 SI unit, and then the others out in SI unit. Okay. Uh, RCL circuit and the, the the equation is for the source voltage because he say uh, it's the alternating source yeah source voltage and uh, this is V source and 300 is V not source it's a sine graph and uh, this 300 is omega okay now how to find the frequency 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 we can find from omega okay frequency can find from omega so Omega is equal to uh, 300. Uh, okay. Omega is 300. So, frequency is... Uh, omega is 2 pi F. Uh, okay. So, we can calculate. We got the frequency, which is 47.746 hertz. Okay. That's the frequency. Now, B. What is the XC XL? Okay, now uh, just use the formula for XC. So XC is uh, uh, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. XC is uh, one over omega C. Uh, so omega is uh, three hundred. Uh, C is uh, ten exponent negative six. Ten exponent negative six. So we get the answer is. Um, uh, XC is a uh, 333.33 ohm. That's the answer. XL, just use a formula for XL, which is omega L. Uh, it is 300 times L, which is 2 Henry. So 600 ohm. That's the answer. Next, uh, find the impedance. Oh, find the impedance. Zach. Yeah? Zach. So how to find the impedance? So, um, this one also you need to use phasor diagram. You cannot just, you cannot simply, oh, since it is, uh, since all this uh, RCL in series, uh, then we uh, straight away say, oh, uh, Z equal to R plus XC plus XL uh, in series. Uh, this is wrong, yeah? This is wrong. Z is not directly equal to uh, just add out uh. Uh, same like voltage you need to draw phaser diagram uh, you need to first draw the phaser diagram uh, you just cannot just add up because this is 
this is a uh, this is AC circuit, not DC circuit. Uh, it's so it's not equal to just add up all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so draw the phasor diagram. How? How to draw the phasor diagram? So uh, just draw the phasor diagram. Uh, remember. Uh, so first you draw the the axis. Yeah, you draw the axis and the current. The current at this position, this is the current, okay? Resistor always with current, uh, resistor always with current. And then, uh, X, okay, we need to compare. Uh, XL is bigger. XL is 600, XC is uh, 300. So, XL is bigger, so XL is longer. XL longer, XC is shorter. And XL is always at the top, yeah? At the top, uh, and it is longer. Yeah, because it is longer than XC, 300. Yeah, so see, this XL is 600. So XL is always leading the current. XC is always uh, behind current, yeah? lagging current. Because the rotation is uh, anti-clockwise. Uh, so XC is always below. Huh? Always below. Uh, XL is longer. Huh? Uh, then uh, you must draw uh, like this, okay? Because XL and XC cancel each other, uh, so the re the remaining is uh, going up. XL minus XC like this, and this XL minus XC combined with uh, the the resistor, combined with the resistor. Uh, this is the Z. Uh, the impedance. This is the impedance, and this is the angle phi, okay? This angle phi. So to find the uh, z, uh, so we need to do Pythagoras theorem, uh, like before, eh? like before. So z is equal to uh, uh, just do Pythagoras theorem. Uh, just do a Pythagoras theorem. So uh, is uh, r uh, r square plus uh, the x l minus x c square. So we get a uh, resistor is a uh, Resistor just now is a uh, 20 ohm, uh, 20 square, and then plus XL minus XC, uh, which is a uh, 600 minus uh, 3 3 3.33, and then uh, square. Uh, then uh, you get the Z as um, 267.42 ohm. Ah, this is Z. Understand? Uh, okay, this is Zach. Now, uh, we got the impedance. Now, he asked for the uh, peak current. Oh, peak current. So, how? Peak current. So, um, we already have the peak voltage. You see? Source voltage. Huh? Peak voltage. Uh, D. Huh? Peak voltage. So, um, we can do this way. And we also have already have the impedance, impedance, uh, impedance. So uh, we can do like this. Uh, peak source. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Peak source is equal to I not Z. Ah, uh, I not Z. Because source, the the total voltage is the total resistance. Total voltage. Total voltage, the source voltage, the total voltage always with total resistance. And then peak voltage, peak current. Uh, last time, root mean square voltage, root mean square current. So this time, peak voltage, peak current. Okay? Uh, very easy. So uh, this is uh, 300 equal to I naught uh, 267.42. Uh, 267.42. Uh, so I got the I naught equal to uh, 1.122 ampere. That's the answer. Yeah, 1.122 ampere. Okay, now uh, E. How to do E? Co uh, phi. Okay, phi. So we can use the power factor cos phi equal to. Uh, you know, cos phi is a. Uh, you know, cos phi is adjacent or hypotenuse. Adjacent is resistor. Adjacent is resistor. Hypotenuse is the impedance, Z. Ah, like that, yeah? So, uh, resistor. Resistor is... Uh, what is the resistor just now? 
Ah, resistor just now is uh, 20 ohm. Ah, 20 ohm. 20 ohm. Impedance just now is um, impedance just now is uh, 267. Ah, 267.42. 267.42 So, okay, so we got the phi is equal to 85.71 uh, Anti cos, uh? Uh, you get 85.71 degree, that's the answer, okay? Next is the mean power, okay? Uh, mean power is also known as average power okay average power it is also uh, the same as power uh, what you say the real power is the same as real power uh, it's also same as the power loss in uh, resistor uh, or power uh, dissipated in resistor all this uh, is the same thing yeah real power yeah? because we have another thing called the apparent power uh, apparent power uh, is another thing yeah uh, apparent power is i r m s square z yeah? i r m s square z for this one mean power is uh, uh, i r m s square r only r. yeah i r m s square r for apparent power is z uh, real power real power apparent power is z Real power, uh, apparent power is Z, uh, real power is R. Okay? Because power only lost in resistor. Uh, mean power. So, okay. So, the root mean square current. Oh, I don't have the root mean square current yet. Uh, but I have the peak. Uh, uh, so, I need to find the, the root mean square current. Root mean square current is equal to I0 over cert 2. Uh, I already have the I0. So I not is a one point one two two over set two. So what's the answer for the root mean square? Zero point seven nine three uh, ampere. Uh, that's the that's the root mean square current. Uh, so can substitute inside here now. Yeah, can substitute inside here. Uh, zero point seven nine three square resistor is resistor is a uh, twenty ohm. Ah, 20 ohm. So we get the 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 real power or the mean power is 12.577 watts. That's the answer.